respected teachers namaste to all today i want to discuss about the portfolio activity 18 module 18 the title is understanding rights and child sexual abuse and the pocso act 2012 i already uploaded portfolio activity 18 the ways how to prevent the child sexual abuse in schools and this portfolio activity i want to describe the three preventive measures that you have to take in to prevent the child sexual abuse then before going to preventive measures first of all first of all we have to discuss about the definition of prevention with regard to sexual violence prevention means creating healthy and safe circumstances and behaviors so as to prevent sexual crimes before they can even take place prevention measures are directed primarily at adults and only secondarily at children and youth this puts the responsibility for the protection of minors from sexual abuse squarely in the hands of adults then we will go for preventive measures here i want to describe the preventive measures under the these following three points the first one is design the training programs to improve teacher skills in the area of child sexual abuse and the second preventive measure is online e learning strategies and the third one is create awareness about pocso act 2012 disha act 2020 let us go in detail one by one the training programs prevention program for school employees should include in depth training on all aspects of the child sexual abuse to ensure a clear understanding of the issue as a whole and to emphasize how big of a role of school personnel play in the lives of children through these training programs they learn to recognize situations which endanger their personal safety to avoid similar situations to escape the danger and afterwards to immediately tell trusted adults who are the trusted adults in school in school psychologists or lesson teachers in schools then trustworthy adult persons are essential for effective prevention and early intervention preventive programs are implemented by a team representing both genders saying no avoidance running off and reporting these four skills are center of training programs for the prevention of sexual abuse trainings make the teachers to recognize the signs of child sexual abuse in mirrors and how to handle a disclosure of child sexual abuse then the second point is online strategies nowadays the internet is ruling the entire world the entire world became the digital world the internet provides outstanding opportunities for learning communicating and having fun there are some things you can do to help minimize the risk of grooming and sexual abuse online children are enormously using the internet for learning online lessons in this covid-19 so we must take care not to see the pornographic blueprints include education for staff and students about sexual abuse in the online environment stay connected with your child's online life ask what they like doing online who they enjoy talking to etc most online abusers they will try to isolate children from protective adults in their life get them to show your favorite game or activity they are more likely to tell you if something is going wrong if they feel like you understand the environment a little don't take technology off them if they tell you about something going wrong in online many children and young people will keep secrets about what is happening online if they are worried adults will overreact or restrict access to technology find out grooming online from net safe websites 
and learn how to protect yourself from grooming online encourage children and young people to prevent their personal information online and talk with them about their digital footprint then the third preventive measure is the pocso act 2012 and disha act 2020 pocso act 2012 This is an act to protect children from offenses of sexual assault and sexual harassment and pornographic blueprints. In Disha Act, February twelfth, two thousand twenty, the Disha Act envisaged the completion of trial of offenses against women and girls in just twenty-one days. That is seven days for investigation and fourteen days for trial, and proved. provided for death penalty in rarest of rare cases then conclusion child sexual abuse is associated with broad array of adverse consequences for survivors throughout their lifetime we need to better understand the experiences of both boys and girls victims of child sexual abuse particularly within the content of sorry context of institutions or cases of child sexual abuse this understanding will assist in the identification treatment and prevention of child sexual abuse importantly this knowledge is key to survivors of child sexual abuse being able to disclose their experiences in a safe and and uh, and uh, environment and the support they need to deal with those experiences and all its effects every act of compassion finds its justification not in offering solutions for problems but in offering hope when the problem is owned by all individuals and communities prevent will progress and fewer children will remain at risk thank you thank you one and all if any child is in trouble or in any risk do the helpline number 1098 thank you thank you one and all presenting by g lakshmi nasama sgt mpps school to penkonda anantapur andhra pradesh